Have you ever needed to set up a simple VPN server but found the process overwhelming and complicated? Join us as we walk you through a super simple option that will have you set up in just five minutes. Afterward, you'll be set to explore applications and services via a dynamic, configurable VPN tunnel. Our prep work here is refreshingly minimal. Our primary partner is Docker, the tool that provides a lean and cleanly packaged way to run our VPN server. Additionally, we'll employ a basic firewall rule in Google Cloud. We'll be sharing the setup command together with this diagram file as a GitHub repository in the video description. Feel free to snatch them and weave them into your own projects as needed. First up on the agenda in our project, navigate to Compute Engine and enable the API if prompted. Following the API enablement, create an instance. Most of the factory defaults are perfectly suitable. However, you might want to tweak the instance size, bearing in mind that there's a correlation between networking throughput and your virtual cores count. For our intentions, a couple of CPU cores and eight gigabytes of memory is more than sufficient. Rather than using Debian, we'll use the container-optimized OS, which will give us a pre-configured Docker and allow us to launch our containerized VPN service using nothing but a single command. The size of the boot disk is up to you, but you shouldn't expect significant storage demands. For easy identification, it might be apt to give the VM a name, such as WireGuard VPN. Otherwise, the standard settings will work just fine. Once our instance is ready, we can leverage the browser-based SSH feature to execute the necessary VPN server creation command. The command is somewhat lengthy, but we'll talk through the high points. We're simply kickstarting this WireGuard container hosted by the Linux server organization. Amid a few environment variable configurations, the standout is the peers value. This will generate a single client server configuration for the VPN. Be sure to copy the VPN peer config for use in your VPN client. Following this step, carve out a new firewall role in your Google Cloud project. We'll allow VPN access exclusively to VMs marked with a VPN server tag. Should these VMs carry that tag, access from any IP is granted. Our VPN server operates on port 51820. Don't forget to attach that networking tag to our VM. Once the firewall rule is firmly established and matching the VPN VM, we can refresh the VPN connection. Sit tight while the VPN connection establishes, then voila, you've successfully constructed your own DIY VPN server ready for action. If we check a page that provides our IP and location, we can see that the IP location is being identified as Iowa, which is where we have our VPN VM set up. This is not my current geolocation, so the VPN is indeed working. We hope this video was helpful and we'll keep an eye on the comment section for any questions. Thank you for watching and please enjoy responsibly.